perfect. You sure? Did you check lately? We're not perfect, are we? We're still struggling in our skin, as it were, and we're learning. But someday, when I'm there, and I'm finally with Jesus, he's going to make me perfect. Can you imagine that? I'm not going to sin anymore. I'm not going to feel foolish. I'm not going to feel stupid. I, I, I'm not going to... One of, they say one of the biggest things that exists in our society today is that people have so, such low self-image of themselves. I'm going to feel whole before God because of Jesus. I'm going to feel so loved. I'm going to feel so warm. I'm going to feel so excited. Well, you know what, folks? That's why you come to church on a Sunday night in the heat. Because Jesus has done all that for you. And we need to worship him. We need to serve him. We need to, to be praised for him. I'd hate to, to miss a blessing because I chose to... <laughs> Never mind, Dan. So praise God those four times that he's, he's, he's written in Scripture. Always remember, God is at work. God is at work. All right, let's bow our heads, and we're not going to have any music or a musical invitation, but I will give you a minute to just pray in, in yourself before God. Maybe, maybe you've lost track of some of these things. Maybe you've lost track of where you are with the Lord and you need to just say, Lord, I, I just want to get back right. Maybe you just want to, tonight, feel like I do. And that I just want to say, thank you. Thank you, Lord. We don't stop and think about that often enough, but thank you, Jesus. Thank you for what you did on Calvary. Thank you that you put aside. You put aside your crown. You put aside your divinity. You put aside your cre the, the creation, the, the power and authority to create all things. You put all that aside. And you came down here to be just like us. So that you could be the perfect sacrifice for my sin. Thank you. Thank you for that. We'll just give you a second here and if any of that exists in her heart, you just express it to the Lord. Thank you for uh, being here tonight. I trust that you'll pray for Pastor this week. Uh, they uh, started driving after church today, and I presume they'll be, uh, they're supposed to be there sometime tomorrow, Brian, is that the story? going down to drop Julianne off, and they'll be uh, going to some weddings. And pray for them most, especially next weekend, because they don't get in here till 9.05. They don't get in, in here until Sunday morning, 9.05. So if anything happens one way or the other, it'll, it'll, certainly, be, it'll certainly be different. But have a very busy week and lots of things going on, so remember to pray for them. Father, thank you for this time tonight. Thank you for your blessings. Thank you for your word. Thank you for the faithfulness of your people who come to just praise you. Thank you for your faithfulness as you work with us each day, Lord, and keep on loving us and keep on forgiving us. And thank you, Jesus, that you made that sacrifice on Calvary for my sin. What would we do, Lord? without that and we thank you for that we pray you guide us this week as we go our way as we live our lives that that we can maybe express some of that to somebody else to let them on in on that as well to know about you well we just pray in jesus name amen